Hey guys, today we're doing this review on this kick-ass panel that I got from Australian Direct. It's the super thin 300 watt panel from their um, factory. So, as you can see, it's brand new. I haven't opened it yet. I'll get into unboxing it now. So I'll try and get in close on this bag. Um, first impressions of the bag, it is quite nice. Um, I really do like the red, it does stand out. And I believe that these are YKK zips. Um, yes they are, it even says it on the zip. So they're YKK zips, they're not going to break. Uh, they should last a very, very long time, unlike some other brands. So, shouldn't have any dramas with this. Um, not sure if anything's in here. Not, nothing's in there. Alright, so I'll get into getting the panel out now. and giving you guys a look. Okay, so as I just found just then, uh, as I was opening up the panels, this came out, so this is all your cables right here, everything you need. I believe it's 8mm cable, so quite thick. Um, and then some alligator clips, in case you don't have an Anderson um, plug and play system like we do. So, yeah, found that. Good addition. Alright, now let's have a look at this panel. Now this solar panel is like nothing I've ever seen before um, probably won't pick this up on the camera but the texture on it I mean I don't know how to describe it it's it's kind of bumpy but yeah it's unlike anything I've ever seen I mean there's no other panels out there that I'm aware of that look like this but um you know, none of that matters if it doesn't perform, but this thing is performing very well. Um, I'm extremely happy with it, to be honest. Uh, you know, five meter long cable, just long enough to go into the back. Um, Clayton was not nice enough to give me another five meter long cable and a watt meter to go with it. So, I mean, I'm I'm set nothing else that I need for this panel okay so I just plugged it in I don't know if you can actually see that but it's putting in 12.15 amps so that's pretty good I mean that's that's heaps um, 300 watt panel and that's more than enough to keep up with everything <laughs> I mean, you could run anything off this thing. So I'm happy with that. Uh, one thing I would recommend is if you're going to pick one of these up, grab another 5 meter long cable. Um, you probably are going to need it. Just so then you don't have to have this so close to your camp. Or if you're chasing the sun, you know, you want to camp in the shade. But obviously your solar panel needs sun. So your cable going to have to be long enough to go the distance of wherever it needs to go so I would recommend at least having 10 meters of cable um, we've got about 20 meters but you know we we don't really need that we just have it <laughs> can't really give a explanation why um, we just yeah we ended up getting it cheap so I thought why not at the time but yeah we got more than enough cable 10 meters should be enough if not 15 would be perfect um, if you really are chasing the sun and there's not much sun around but but yeah like I said 10 should be enough it comes with five but pick up another one if you got the money it's got these legs at the back so you can angle it I don't know if you can see that um, yeah, it's a little bit hard to see but you can see it 
these legs so you, you can uh, point it at the sun, you know, angle it, get the right spot. Um, they f they do feel quite sturdy, you know. They're not they're not going to move. Uh, so yeah, they they're quality. This panel is quality. Um, this is the 300 watt. So I mean, probably a bit overkill for what we're going to be running, but you know why not? Um, you know if you. If you can afford it then buy it if you can't I do believe they have a 150 watt panel exact same as this but just 150 and a 200 so you know if that's what you need a bit lower go with that um, obviously they're smaller as well so if you're chasing something that's a bit smaller they'll be the way to go uh, but yeah this one's a 300 and it's performing excellent. So as you can see there's a big size difference. This is the 300 watt panel, this is the 200 watt panel and obviously this one being a lot smaller and a lot more powerful this will be the one to go for. And so as you can see it's, it is a lot smaller. Um, this is 200 watt Australian direct panel um, good it's a good solar panel it's just a little bit big for our setup uh, the only way to get it or bring it with us is to put it on the roof so it's a bit of a pain in the ass but this one should fit straight in the back here so this is going to come with us now um, but you know nothing against this panel just this one a lot more convenient and it's more powerful so if I had to rate it out of five it would be a five it does the job and it does it well so there's not really much more to say about it I mean it's a kick-ass product it's high quality uh, at the moment it's seven hundred and fifty dollars I believe usually it's nine hundred so if you want to get one at the moment now's the time to do it it being a lot cheaper I'll try and get this video up as soon as I can hopefully tonight just in case they change the price on that but hopefully they don't and I'll get this video up for you guys um, anyway that's about it so I guess I'll see you in the next video